Hi, Liza. Where, where is he? Where's my mother? Uh, she's just woke up. She's fixing herself up for Dad. I thought we agreed that we were not going to say anything to her unless it was positive. Well, she was so sad. I just wanted to give her some hope. What, what, what's going on? Why, why isn't Dad here with you? Stuart's not coming back. He's, he decided to stay at the, the cabin. He's all right. It's like you said. He was at the cabin. Why, why isn't Dad here with you? There was a fire. There was nothing left. Your father. No. Scott. Scott. No! I don't believe you. You were here. Oh, darling. This is the happiest day of my life. Next to the day I married Stuart, of course. You remember that blizzard? Oh, he just pushed himself through that howling storm. There was just no stopping him. Mama. You know, I told you everything was going to be all right. Stuart's taught me all about faith. And faith really, really works. Uh, Scott, by the way, has made a welcome home dinner for Stuart. Where is Scott, by the way? He left. Oh. Oh, he must have gone out to buy some of that bread that Stuart likes. Darling, can you stay and have some lasagna with us? And where's Stuart? I thought he was coming home with you. S something happened. Lisa? What's wrong? Are you okay? It wasn't Colby. It isn't Colby, is it? It's Stuart. Oh, I know all about Stuart. Uh, Scott told me that Stuart went to the camp, and uh, don't be angry with him for telling me, but I'm, I'm really glad he did. Mama, Stuart's gone. Oh, no, Donnie, of course he's not gone. He, he's at the cabin. They, they found his food and his watch. Right, there was a fire at the cabin. Oh, well, Scott didn't say anything about a fire at the cabin. It happened after Scott and Becca left. Stuart was there. But there's nothing left. said that, uh, that they saw him at the cabin. They, you know, he wasn't at the cabin, you see. So I'm sure Stuart wasn't in the cabin when it burned down, darling. And, you know, he's going to be very upset about this because he really loved that cabin, Liza. He loved Stuart it. was inside. Of course he wasn't inside, Liza. Stuart is a very careful man. I mean, if a fire broke out, he would have put it out or he would have gotten away. I don't know if he fell or he was unconscious, but he was inside. It burned down. He's gone. I I'm so sorry. No. No, he's not gone. How dare you say something like that, Liza? How dare you? My husband is not dead. You're lying. I'm not. Of course you are. Stuart's going to come home to me. He's going to come walking through the door with the flowers he's picked along the way. And he's going to prove that you're lying, Liza. Mama, Stuart's not coming home. Stop it. I don't want to hear you say that. Mother, I was there at, at the cabin, and, and Adam was there, and, and we saw proof that Adam, Stuart is... Adam is behind all this, isn't he? He wants to get revenge, because he put him in that mental institution. He's lost Stuart's love forever, so he wants me to know what it's like to lose Stuart. Well, that's sick. How can he do something like this? How can he make up a lie that Stuart is dead? And how could you go along with such a plan so evil? Mama, it's not a trick. Oh, my God, Liza. Stuart is the miracle of my life. And I thank God for him every day. Every single day. And if, and if something was wrong with Stuart, I would know about it. I would know about it right here, right here in my heart. And I know there's nothing wrong with Stuart because I don't feel there's anything wrong with Stuart. No, so you just go back Mama. and you tell, tell Adam that he can't destroy what Stuart and I have. Because I know that Stuart is going to come back to me. Because nothing can come between the bond and love that Stuart and I share. Nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing. Mama! Mama! What do, what do you have? It. 
it looks like a wedding band. It is. Well, it could be anybody's wedding band. You look at the engraving, please. To fourteen ninety nine. To Stuart. Forever love Marion. Well, I, I warned him, Liza. I warned him that he was going to lose this, you know, because he wears it all the time. He wears it when he's washing dishes, or when he's cleaning his brushes with a turpentine, or even when he's gardening. And I told him he's going to wear the patina right off the ring, but or lose it under one of his zucchini plants. But he never listens to me. He says it's not a piece of jewelry at all. It's a symbol of our, our life together, of our love. And it won't come off his finger as long as he's... As long as he's alive. No. no. Please, no. Please, no. no. Ha, ha, ha.